Did you know that yogurt cultured cheese was first introduced in the United States over 40 years ago? The active and healthful ingredients found in cultured types of cheeses were embraced by mom and pop stores back in the 70s. Well, today they're widely popular and the recipe combinations are endless. Celebrity chef Sarah Moulton's got some inspiration for us this morning. And we also have Lisa Troyer, co owner of the Bunker Hill Cheese Company. She's going to give us the one on one on these quality ingredients. Good morning. Good morning. And so of good course, to, be here. to you. Yes. Ooh, hello. Welcome back. Thank you. I got to tell you, isn't it your father that invented first... this yogurt cheese? Yes, yeah. Back in the late 60s when we were little kids running around in Ohio, it was Amish country, not oh, Amish, nice. but in the country. Yes, yes. You know, dad saw the popularity of you know like the Dan and commercials and so forth and it's like okay people like the benefits of yogurt culture but not everybody wants likes the, the cut style yogurt so yes. he integrated the probiotic cultures into Heine's yogurt cultured cheese and we're so happy he did that so they don't taste yogurty they just right. taste like good cheese well it's because it's a low moisture item mm -hmm. and it's like when you don't have a excessive liquids and so forth then the the sweetness of the yogurt culture naturally comes through and it's good for yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, it's high in protein. Um, you know, so it's great if you're on a high protein diet. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's just so flavorful. Your family has been in the cheese business, let's say, yeah. for what? How many years? Since 1935. Wow. wow. So you started with this cheese, but you just started branching out. Yes. You we, tell us about your new cheese. We've been manufacturing the semi-soft, all-natural cheeses, you know, since 1935. And the opportunity to partner with Ezra Dairy from Tel Aviv. And, you know, they wanted to work with a small family business here in the States. And you were introduced to the product at the Fancy, Fancy Food show. show. Well, let's first show, I, I definitely yeah, the want packaging. Christy to try this. Yeah, the packaging this is, is so great cute too. because You know when you're taking feta cheese out of a container, you get all in the water mm -hmm. and it's like a mess and you can't find it and it all breaks up. Look what they did. The and you should try a piece of that. Oh my gosh. Because this cheese was introduced to the Fancy Food Show and I was mm -hmm. there. And I tasted it, and this is how they, they present it. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's amazing. And I love how it comes cubed. Yes. They served it this way, which is an interesting way to eat this kind of, it is a salty cheese, it, mm -hmm. as it should be. It's with watermelon. Um, so that's how they did it. But then I had a lot of fun developing a few recipes here because what I think you'll agree, what's so unique about this feta is normally it has, feta has a chalky texture. Mm -hmm. This is creamy. It's great. And the crazy thing is both of the cheeses, both the full fat, it's only 16% mm -hmm. fat, and the light is only 5% fat. Oh my fat. goodness. I can't even really tell the difference. Both of them are creamy, even mm -hmm. the light. So here's my dressing that I made. I want you to try it. Oh, how you got it? It's, it's got four ingredients in it. So it's the feta cheese, the light feta cheese with buttermilk, which is the equivalent mm -hmm. of 1% percent um, fat with well, lemon juice and olive oil period fabulous. oh and a tiny bit of garlic I'm sorry you'll never kiss again divine but just a tiny bit <laughs> I you will can leave that kiss. out <laughs> so I loved it so what I did with it I also came up with this wonderful Mediterranean grilled mm. cheese because you see you can actually spread this I spread it on both sides this is my BFT my yeah. BFT my bacon feta and tomato your best friend uh, yes yes I like yeah. that and so you put some of the cheese on both sides and then a little bit of tomato and just some, I threw in basil because I just love basil. I you grew know. basil. Oh, wow. Well, this is this sandwich is for you, and that's it. And then you just cook it. I've got one here I want you all to taste. And just give it a few minutes on each side. I cook it in olive oil. Okay. Because okay. it's Mediterranean grilled mm -hmm. cheese. Well, another thing, too, uh, in the Mediterranean, on the Mediterranean Sea, this is the snack that they eat at the beach. Watermelon and feta cheese. I and I see that it... In New York, it would be the Hamptons. Yes, indeed it would. Yes. And in South Florida, it would be South Beach. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> um, so, the, see how nicely it melted? Oh, Doesn't beautiful. that look great? So, you've got to have a taste. Oh, my gosh, this yeah. looks divine. I feel like so selfish, you guys are not even eating while I'm being a pig. Oh, no, that's all right. Because we know how good this we cheese is. We know how good it is. Yes. Oh, wow, yeah. you have to yeah. try it. That's yeah. true. I'll yeah. have to try it. i got to tell you, yeah. the best cheese ever. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. And to your dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks, dad. Yeah. Thanks for coming again. Okay. Now, and for, this is mine. No. And for more information <laughs> on Bunker Hill Cheese Company, she was going to give us away. Yeah. And for all your specialty foods, please visit highneeds.com for other great recipes. I'm just kidding. Here's a bite. Go ahead, grab one.